Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps of Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. Then you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. So, you guys, today is the fire sign reading. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Spirit, please show me Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is love life. Please show me what they can expect, what they need to know, what advice uh, moving forward. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is a love life. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you've definitely been feeling stuck. I think that... Um, you know, things haven't been moving forward, and I think that for some of you guys, this has a lot to do with maybe your family, your tribe. Uh, you know, it could be friends that you uh, see as family. I feel like right now, um, you know, you've been stuck because of third-party situations, um, and I think that for some of you guys, maybe you guys have been waiting on money to come in in order to get you to be able to walk away from what no longer serves a purpose. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Spirit, possible outcome. Too many too many cards. Okay, hold on. Possible outcome for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, here we go. Ah. All right, so this definitely could be a message for our Divine Feminines, okay? The Divine Feminine is the overall energy. Divine Feminines, I feel like you are being guided out of a situation. I feel with the Guide card, you have third party and you have springtime in your first row, okay? So I do feel that, you know, possibly, um, you know, you were guided away from a situation back in the spring. I feel like you have, you know, maybe something came up about a third party that maybe you found out about back in the springtime. And I want to say that because of that, you kind of felt like, a, you know, like you were stuck in the mud a little bit. And I think that um, what it has done is it guided you to get out of this situation, you know, that you were in. I feel like right now you have been working on your family life, your home life, your stability. Um, and I feel like you're at this place of like complete surrender. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And I think because of that, uh, you know, you have been definitely working on your material world uh, when it comes to this and I feel like you know you definitely couldn't bring this relationship into the material world I feel like the you know whoever this is in your life this person is definitely numbing themselves this is the outgoing card I feel like um, you know maybe this person you know has some form of an addiction issue uh, you know even if it's codependency and I feel like you know this person is working on surrendering that and working on um, you know, maybe this person is too connected to the material world and this person is wanting, you know, uh, is definitely needing to purge the material world is kind of what I'm seeing, but I feel like, you know, maybe it's a, an, an alcohol addiction that this person is in. Um, you know, I'm not really seeing, I mean, yes, I'm seeing third party here. And I think that maybe for some of you, this third party is somebody that this person is married to or has children with, or it could even just be that this third party is their family is getting in the way of this relationship from coming together. Um, because I'm looking at the third party the tribe underneath it that's your family and then purge underneath that so I feel like maybe for some of you maybe you are walking away from your family in order to be able to come into union with someone because maybe this relationship between you and someone else was stuck maybe this person was um, you know draining you of your resources okay uh, you know and for some of you guys like even draining of you your resources maybe this person wasn't working um, you know, and so I feel like, you know, if this, if you or this other party, twist it, flip it, however it fits, you know, only you know which role you play in this if you're being honest with yourself. Um, you know, when it comes right down to it, I do believe that, you know, this, uh, you know, I think that you have been working on your self-worth issues, Divine Feminine. Um, and you know what, you can be a man and be a Divine Feminine as well because we all have the yin and the yang energies within ourselves. So I do want to say that, you know, I think that this has a lot to do with self-worth. Some people value, you know, relationships more than they value their money or their time, you know, and I feel like for some of you guys, you know, you need to have this uh, healthy balance. So, 
with that said, uh, Spirit, please show me the Aries. What does Aries need to know for this week for their love life? Spirit, please show me Aries. Aries love life. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, you got a couple of cards. I think Aries, you know, um, you need to trust in divine timing. This situation is calling you for, to, for you to have faith. I think that, you know, you are definitely, uh, you know, just need to take a step back and really uh, get the lay of the land is kind of what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, you need to very soon clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you. So if it's new love and romance, I do feel like if you can just trust and have faith and know that your manifestations are coming in. I think that once this person gets done numbing themselves and realizing that this is what they want, I feel like um, you'll be able, this can definitely come into fruition, but you're going to have to let go of what no longer serves a purpose, okay? So trust. All right, spirit. So we did Aries, so let's do Leo. Leo, oh, okay, Leo. Leo, you are calling in your soulmate, finances and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I do believe for Leo, um, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. I think that there is money, Leo, that is standing in between you and you and coming together with your partner. And that is why you are feeling stuck. I feel like you are like waiting on possibly the finances in order to be able to come in. I do see that getting ready to happen, whatever these finances are. They just feel stuck right now, okay? But it is calling uh, because you are calling in your soulmate. You are calling in this person to come in who is going to be able to help you get to the next level. Uh, and underneath that, I saw getting to know each other. So I do believe that, you know, this is a person that you definitely want to get to know. And this person, I, I do believe you already know this person um, as well. And I just feel like, uh, you know, hold your vision and know that this can happen, okay? So with that said, let's do uh, Sagittarius. Sagis, okay. Sagittariuses are let your friends help you and it is safe for you to love. Ask for and accept help from others and open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So Sagis, um, you know, I feel like for some of you guys, you know, uh, a lot of you are just, you know, bonding with your friendships and things like that. Um, I think for, you know, some of you guys, for some of you Sagittariuses, um, you know, you need to just, I think that, you know, for the longest time, it was hard for you to open your heart to someone. And I feel like, you know, at this time you were definitely being celebrated. I do believe that you have a past life relationship here and not all past life relationships are bad ones. I feel like, um, you two are definitely trying to, you know, working on becoming a friend. And I feel like this person seems very, very familiar to you. So, um, yeah, this reading seems to be very, uh, kind of just in, I mean, it's very easy to read. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of hidden agenda. I just feel like we all have to be honest with ourselves. And like I said, um, you know, things feel stuck right now, but I feel like it's like once you surrender, um, surrender your tribe as well. Maybe for some of you guys, in order to get into this relationship, you're just going to have to, uh, uh, you know, walk away from some family, you know, um, because I do believe that there, if, whether you're the divine feminine who is looking in, uh, I do believe that this person is getting ready to get rid of these third party relationships. So whatever that means for you guys. So you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, uh, feel free to check the description box down below there. You'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll chat soon. Take care.